Hi guys, my name is Amit and in this tutorial we will learn how to update WordPress manually using FTP. Ok guys, so first of all we need uh, to get the latest version of the WordPress and we need to go to the website called wordpress.org slash download and I will place this link also in the description section. Ok, so at the at the right you can see that I can see the download WordPress 4.1 the version is 4.1 this is the latest version right now uh, yours might be different if you are downloading WordPress uh, in future okay so let me click on that download WordPress 4.1 as you can see at the bottom left it you know it's downloading and also guys you need one you know FTP client okay so I use FileZilla and this is a really very great free FTP client and you can go to the website called FileZilla-Project.org and you can download that for free also and you need not to pay anything for that okay guys and also you know for extracting you know the zip files you need one unzip software so if you don't have then you can go to google.com and type WinRAR and click on the first link and just a second I think Chrome is creating some sort of problem nowadays it's you know updated but now okay so here we have guys okay according to your system if you have Linux FreeBSD Mac or you know Windows so you can download that for here okay so for Windows it is WinRAR the first link or second link you can download that okay so as you can see that my WordPress has been downloaded and I downloaded that on my desktop so I just need to extract that on desktop also so it it's extracting as you can see that okay it's done as you can see that I have one file WordPress and as you can see I opened it by double clicking on the folder WordPress as you can see I have different different you know the files etc okay so let me open my you know the FTP FTP client that is called you know f uh, uh, files align my case okay there are others FTP client like Kyoto FTP and others if you wanna use that you can go for that and also this one okay so as you can see there uh, uh, here here it's uh, this 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 section over here I have this you know the desktop where I can move I can see my files so let me go to WordPress okay so here is the WordPress and also on the you know right section I can see all my websites my server files etc so I need to go to the root of the you know the website I want to update okay the WordPress on so I I want to update this on makemoneymax.com this you know updating the WordPress version okay so I just you know copy you know control A on the left side and right click and just click on upload okay so it takes a while to do that so let me pause this video and okay also guys uh, you need to you know take this action okay if you're getting this target file already exists then you just need to click on this always use this action and click on OK so I need to pause this video a little bit because there are you know many files so it takes a time so when, when it's uploaded I will come back okay hi guys I'm back as you can see that all the uh, WordPress file has been uploaded from my desktop to my server okay guys so if I go to my you know website called makemoneymax.com and if I open it 
Okay. And if I go to my WordPress admin section, Just a second. Yeah. As you can see that I'm in admin section and and if I go to this uh, section over on the home home of this dashboard, as you can see that WordPress 4.1. Okay, running thesis same. So as you can see that guys, uh, it has been, you know upgraded to my latest version of WordPress 4.1 okay and also guys in some cases when you when you you know after you know uploading all the files to your server uh, there might come a message to update your you know database okay so if if that message appears to you then okay click on that uh, link like update you know WordPress update your database so you can do that and your you know uh, your files or WordPress files will be you know updated according to the latest version of WordPress that you are uploading okay guys so and also guys uh, suppose if you wanna you know do you know update or upgrade your WordPress to the latest version so make sure you do a backup okay so that in case if something goes wrong or something goes out of your hand so you will be able to restore your website to the previous you know version or to the previous previous you know WordPress version okay guys so hope this helps and I will catch you in my next videos thanks for watching